Hello everyone and welcome back to the 2018 Granny Square Crochet Along. Today we are making Not Your Normal Granny. So this may look a little bit like the basic regular Granny Square when you first see it, but this is not quite as usual. We've got some different um, stitch counts going on. We've got two double crochet, we've got four, um, and then we've got threes. Um, so, um, we've got this nice big um, sort of circle square in the centre. Um, so, uh, yeah, you could use a different colour for every round. You could do it all in one colour as I've done. Completely up to you. Um, I, as you can see, I've just done it in one colour today. Um, and if you've looked at the pattern, the pattern does show you about turning your work every round. So... Um, you could do that of course um, it does mean your stitches will be in a slightly different place to what I show you on the video um, I'm going to be videoing as per the chart um, where we will be slip stitching across to our corner and continuing whereas if you're turning your work as the pattern shows you will um, finish in one corner and then you will turn your work over and you will continue in the opposite direction so it just means that your work will have some rows will be the back and some rows will be the front. It will just alternate. So have a look at the pattern and the link, um, There is a the pattern is in the group and the link for that is below and the Facebook group if you want to see what that pattern's like if you haven't already. Um, so that's it today. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so round one, uh, the magic circle doesn't work for this um, because it's designed to have a big open centre and you have a lot of stitches to put into this first round. So you want to chain 12 and then slip stitch to form a ring, chain 12. And then we're going to start with a chain three as a double crochet and then five more double crochet into your ring. going to chain one and then you're going to do uh, six double crochet into the ring because we've got six here so you're going to put six more double crochet and then a chain one six more chain one six more chain one and then we are going to slip stitch to the top of our chain so you need you have four uh, four sets of six double crochet 24 in total Okay, here we are at the end of round one. You might need to just um, spread your stitches out a little if they get a bit bunched up. Um, so what we're going to do now is turn your work and just slip stitch over into that uh, chain one space and then turn your work back around ready to work. So in this chain one space we are going to chain five we are going to chain five and this will count as a double crochet and a chain two space and then we are going to do two double crochet into this space one two and then we're going to chain three and then we're going to do a double crochet we're going to skip three double crochets one two three and we're going to do a double crochet in between the next two stitches so not in the actual stitch but in between the two stitches okay so skip three and then you're going to go in between the next two do your double crochet and then you're going to chain three and you're going to do two double crochet in your corner chain one, chain two, and two more double crochet in that space. Chain three, skip three stitches, 
and do a double crochet between that third and fourth stitch. There we go, chain three, do another corner of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and then again skip three stitches, do a double crochet in between the third and fourth, chain three, do another corner. Two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet, chain three, skip three stitches and do a double crochet between the next two, chain three, and in this corner here we have one more double crochet to make, and then we want to slip stitch into the third chain so one it'll be the third chain from either way let's do a slip stitch into there and there we go there is round two finished so i'm just going to square this out a bit i find if you square it after every round it does keep its shape a lot better and there we go Okay, on to round three. Okay, round three. Now all these sides are symmetrical, which is good. It helps us to um, follow what we're doing. So we are going to slip stitch over into this chain space. And then we are going to chain five, just as we did before. So once again, that's for a double crochet and a chain two. And then we're going to do two double crochet in our corner then we're going to chain three just finding the right um the right round on the pattern on the chart so chain three and then we're going to do two double crochet in this first chain space And then skip over to the next one and do two in that space. And then chain three. And then do your corner of two double crochet. Chain two and two double crochet. And then you're going to do exactly the same along this side. Two double crochet in each chain space and then back to your corner. Simple as that. I'll see you in a moment. And here we are at the end of round three. So I have just slip stitched in my third chain as I did last time. Um, and there we go. Did anyone spot my mistake on the previous round when I was trying to square it that I had missed one of my chain three spaces? So I had to correct that and now I am square. My square is square. <laughs> okay, so don't forget, if you want to change colour at all, just um, change colour in the chain space of the corner. Okay, so on to round four. We're going to slip stitch over into the chain space, if you're not changing colour. And then we're going to chain five, just as before. Um, as our double crochet and chain two. So when you come back around, you will slip stitch in the third chain again as before. And then we're going to do two double crochet into that corner just as before as well. And then we are going to chain three. And we are going to do uh, four double crochet into this chain space here. One, two, three and four and then we're going to chain three and in the next chain space so skip over your stitches in the next chain space you're going to do four more but not like that <laughs> so four double crochet in this chain space one two three and four and then 
you're going to chain three and do your corner of two double crochet chain two and two more double crochet okay and then you're going to do the next side exactly the same you're going to chain three and do four double crochet in this chain chain three four double crochet in this one chain three and then do your corner and i will see you at the end of this round when you get back around to the beginning don't forget you need to do your last double crochet in your corner um, after doing your chain three so just do your last one before slip stitching into your third chain and there we go round four so this is what i mean about squaring it up after each round it's going to be sort of frilly <laughs> Uh, so there we go, just give it a pull out, and there we go. Okay, must be time for round five. Okay, so guess what? We're going to slip stitch over into our corner, and then we're going to chain five as usual for our double crochet and chain two. And then two more double crochet in that corner. One and two. And then chain two. And then in your first chain space, you're going to do two double crochet. Chain three. In the next chain space, you're going to do two double crochet. and then chain three two double crochet in the next space and chain two and then your corner as usual two double crochet chain two and two double crochet and then you're going to repeat this side down this side and all the way around so start with a chain two and then two double crochet um, into your chain spaces um, so chain two two stitches chain three two stitches chain three two stitches chain two so threes in the middle and two chains on the outside and then don't forget when you come around to the beginning you need to do your last double crochet and then slip stitch into the third chain and here we go at the end of round five. How good does this look? So it's very similar in how it looks to the usual granny square, the basic granny square. But it's just got this little bit of different um, stitch counts going on and just gives a bit of variation um, to what we're used to. Um, so it's not your normal granny, but it is... A very effective lovely granny um, all the same so um, round six is um, is is put in the pattern as an optional round um, because for a lot of people this square will now be six inches which is what we aim for so this is six inches can you believe it I've been making such small squares recently I've been crocheting quite tightly and this one is actually six inches already for me gosh um so you obviously can stop there if it's the right size um but i will talk you through um how to do round six should you need a bit of extra um size so round six should you need it is um, it is in the pattern as a half double crochet round you could do it as a single crochet round if you need just a tiny bit um, or if you want to do a single crochet round just to sort of firm up these chain edges it's completely up to you um, so what you're going to do is um, I'm going to undo this afterwards because as I said my square is already big enough 
So what you're going to do is slip stitch across into your corner as usual. And then for a half double crochet, you're just going to chain two and then chain two more for your uh, chain two. So chain four, that's half double crochet and your chain two. And then do uh, two more half double crochets in your corner. If you were doing single crochet, you would chain one and discount that and then do a single crochet. Uh, two single crochets and then chain two and then do two more single crochets and then all the way around you'll just where I say half double crochet you will do a single so then all you're going to do is one stitch in every stitch so a half double crochet in these two stitches here and then in your chain two spaces you will do two stitches and in your chain three, then you're going to do one in each of these next two stitches. In your chain three space, you're going to do three stitches. One, two, three. And then again, one in each stitch. Three in the chain three space, one in each stitch. Two in the chain two space, one in the next two stitches. And then your corner, two stitches, chain two and two stitches. So you can see that this is kind of giving it a nice firm edge. Um, so I might just go around and do some single crochets actually, um, just to firm this up a bit. So um, there we go. Um, I'll leave you to do that round should you need it. And I'm just going to do my single crochet round and then I'll see you back. And here we go. And I like that so much more with that edging. It just kind of brings it all together and gives it a nice firm straight edge. Um, so there we go. This is our um, not your normal granny. <laughs> uh, um, love it. So I can't wait to see um, photos in the group of your squares as usual. See um, what colours you've chosen, how you've done it. Um, and uh, yeah, the group, the link for that is in the description below to the Facebook group. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful and helpful, or you've enjoyed watching along, then um, please click that like button and give us a thumbs up. And hit the subscribe and the bell if you haven't already. And uh, until next time, just keep hooking and don't let your tea get cold.